Elements is now available to purchase from elementsapp.io and if you use the promo code YouTube, you can save 20% on all our subscription plans. Now, when you first launch Elements, you'll be presented with this growing list of projects to choose from. And I can just click on one and it will download it from the internet and I'm ready to go customize the content and get it published online. So you can build your site in a matter of hours, not weeks. So that's elementsapp.io and use the promo code YouTube to save 20%. All right, now on with today's dev diary. Hi, I'm Dan and welcome to this week's Elements Developer Diary. Now this week, we've got a few things to cover. We've had a busy last few weeks with shipping resources and templates in Elements, uh, which are absolutely fantastic and are really just the beginning of these exciting new features. Now we've been doing some work on the marketplace, so I wanna show you that first, and then I'll talk about some projects I'm working on and kinda just a bit of a wrap up to give you guys an update of where we are with everything. So let's head over to the marketplace go and launch the browser. Now, if you regularly visit the marketplace or you've known it for the past couple of years, it, this will look quite different now. So we've done a lot of changes. Uh, Joby has been doing a great job on this. So hopefully, as you can see, we've reworked the layout. So now we've got these nice big previews. It's a lot clearer. And one thing you should instantly notice is that we default straight to the Elements add-ons because this is where things are headed. Um, the Elements user base is growing so quickly and we're getting a lot of users moving from Classic to Elements just because it's a, while Classic, Classic is great and it's been great for the past 20 years, it's kind of time to move on. So we're seeing a lot of users move to Elements because it's just such a nice way of working and it's so flexible and so powerful. So the marketplace has defaulted to Elements now. Um, so if you come to the marketplace, you get to see these nice big previews. And at the moment, there's only projects for Elements on the marketplace, but it will list out all those other add-ons eventually that, uh, that we know developers are working on and users are working on some new add-ons. So this will, uh, in the coming year, I think this will absolutely explode when we when we introduce those new features to enable you to publish those other add-ons. So lots of good stuff to come. So this, uh, this new view is very nice because you can see these big previews here and it's the same as before. Click into one and you can um, watch the videos, preview the screenshots, and then you can go and preview or buy. There are a lot of free projects on the marketplace. Those are available in Elements as well, but if you wanna see them here, you can list from price from low to high. And then at the top, you can see these are all free. And if you wanna view them in Elements, you can just click the button here and it'll open it straight up in Elements. So click this and boom, it's gonna launch Elements for me. And there we go, and it's opened that project. So as quick as that, which is really nice. So um, there's not many tags down the side yet because these things aren't tagged. We're still working out the categories. So this is kind of a work in progress, but, um, but yeah, it works, uh, works really nicely. You know, I can search and it's a live search just as I type there, you saw that. It just uh, all live updates. If you wanna see the old classic stuff, which I'm sure you probably don't, but there is the old classic, you can switch it on here and then you can go and um, and view the other, all the old stuff there. But um, we're gonna to stick to elements because I think that's where everyone is headed. So that's the marketplace, really nice update, just a lot cleaner, bigger design, and it's kind of paving the way for what we're doing in the future here. So we've just been incrementally making changes to the marketplace and it's just getting better all the time. Uh, we've got links at the top to go to the Elements website. You can go to the forum, the API docs. Now we've linked this here. If you're interested in building anything for Elements, do go and check out the API docs. Lots of information in there about how to build all the different types of add-ons. And there's also a feed link as well, so you can subscribe to the RSS and get notified when there's new items on the marketplace. So with that out of the way, let's hop over to Elements. And that is one thing we saw briefly in the video there. I've got this project I'm working on. Um, and this was for the video we did earlier in the week where we compared elements to classic and stacks and foundation, you know, that old way of working. And what I thought, because I built this, 
up to kind of mimic the old project in Classic. I thought this would be a good site to actually finish off, properly polish and get on the marketplace for you guys to use. And it's really useful, especially if you're thinking of moving from Classic to Elements and you want to do it straight away. This is a nice page to replace your website with just while you work on your new website. Maybe you've bought that domain name and you need kind of a landing page quickly, then you can easily customize this. You know, if you don't want a uh, email newsletter sign up, you can just delete this um, and put in whatever content you want. So style it however you want. And yeah, you can change the background color, stuff like that, uh, the image, which is really easy to do. And these backgrounds are built into Elements now, so you can just drag these across. Really quick to get that, um, to get this landing page online with a nice, you know, just with a nice uh, look there. And you can customize all these as I've shown in the video. You can just Command D, duplicate those, drop in your own social icons, uh, easily just like this boom um, and yeah and if you use elements you know you can customize all this stuff really easy just type into here boom so I'm gonna finish this off get it all ready to uh, work nicely on the responsive sizes I've got a bit more work to do but that will be going up on the marketplace very soon and you'll be able to download that and use this and do, if you didn't watch yesterday's video about stacks, then you can go back and watch that and just see the stark difference. Uh, I've got the project open here. And you know, this is how things look in stacks and foundry. Um, it's really hard to work this way to change these things. Um, let's see, these are all the styles you can change on this site. Whereas when you compare this to Elements, when we come over here, you can see this is a full WYSIWYG view and we've obviously got the Theme Studio up here so I can easily change the look of our site. And let's see that button there as well. So because these are all set up with theme styles, you can easily change this and you can obviously dig down deeper into um, the color palettes and you get a nice WYSIWYG native Mac view and you can easily change the icons, uh, change the fonts, add new fonts, Google fonts, really easy to do, live search for Google fonts, super, super way to work. So um, yeah, it's worth remembering that if, you, if you're watching these and you've not moved to Elements yet, just the difference is really stark. When you look at this and then you come back Boom, there's elements. Now, I know we're harping on about this, especially if you watch yesterday's videos, you're probably like, yeah, 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 I know all this. But we think this is a really big deal. And if you're still on Classic, you really, really, really need to move to elements because it is the future of Rapid Weaver on the Mac and web design. Lots more good stuff coming in elements. Um, it's just, yeah, it's a million miles away from uh, that old way of working. Let me just hide that. Right. So um, what else? If you've, I just wanted to give you a quick update on the resources and templates. We're still working on those and we're adding some more, um, more templates. They're coming along quite nicely. Um, I don't know if I've got any in here to show off. I should have been a little bit better prepared, but um, yeah, there are some new bits going into here and that should be in the next build. So a few more nicely designed things to make building websites even quicker. Now, we're still working on the CMS. Ben's doing an amazing job on that. He's been working on the forms, updating those, and also reworking the CMS, because as we've developed it, we've learned a lot from your feedback and also from us using it. So I know it's taking longer than you wanted, but it will be worth the wait. And hopefully Ben will have an update on that later in the week or next week. So kind of give you, uh, just to show you where we're at with it. And there will be templates for the CMS in here so you can quickly build up a blog. <clears throat> so, um, we, st we still want some feedback on what templates you would like to see and also what resources you need to see in here because we've added we've added some in which I think 
are the popular ones you kind of want when you're building out a base site. But do <clears throat> do let us know what you want to see because we're we're building and basing this off your feedback. So that was just a quick overview for today. We've got a lot of stuff going on in the background. Elements this week, we're gonna have another build out soon and that will fix up. Uh, it's just got some more bug fixes in it because once we ship some new features, we tend to um, flip back to polishing things up, tidying things, fixing some of those bugs. Because I know you guys have reported a lot on the forum. So we've got, uh, there's some catching up to do there, but it's all good stuff and your feedback's great and it's really helping. And yeah, we're just keep chipping away at this, keep fixing the issues and shipping new builds, adding those new features. Got a lot of good stuff to come. So um, that was just a quick, round up of kind of where we are and um, a quick update for you guys and we'll be back very soon with a new build of elements and some shiny new features for you to try out all right thanks for watching this one and i will see you soon cheers bye